been a long and windy journey, uh, for sure, I think, to become a CPA. The big thing for me growing up was I really wanted to lead people. I wanted to be a manager. I started in my university degree in general management, but then quickly realized who's going to hire somebody to manage people without any experience and just a degree. Um, so I quickly pivoted into accounting um, to really give me the opportunity and the means to uh, progress in my career and lead people down the road, and that's where I am today. Well, it opened a, a lot of doors, for sure. It absolutely opened a lot of opportunities, um, gave me an opportunity to switch industries, move around sectors, really do anything that I wanted to do. And my journey has kind of evolved a long way as a result of that. I've pivoted industries until I found really something that I was passionate about. I'm not sure if there was an aha moment. I think it was really just a bit of a trial and error process. I think many of us kind of, you know, in high school, maybe even in early university, don't really know what it is that we want to be doing. Um, I think the important part of my journey and probably a lot for a lot of young uh, professionals is along the way learning what it is that you don't want, right? Learning what it is that you don't like and along the way finding you know, maybe this isn't the type of industry, or maybe this isn't the type of organization, or maybe this isn't the type of boss that I want to be when I'm managing people myself. And so a lot of those sort of opportunities and experiences kind of shaped my way uh, and my pursuit towards the designation. Um, I've always been kind of, uh, I guess, good with numbers and sort of comfortable in this sort of space. Been very fascinated and interested with business for a long time. So it seemed like a, a fairly natural progression uh, and pathway forward. But I would say certainly it wasn't linear. And even after getting the designation, it hasn't been linear since either. For me, I think it's really important because there's, A, there's the community around you. I think that's really important. The CPA designation is recognized here in Ontario. There's the national body that has resources and support for you. CPA designation is also recognized around the world. So it does feel like there's that community uh, outside of here. There's international, the AICPA. Uh, I've taken courses through them. So there's lots of opportunities to be part of this broader community and this broader family. Uh, early in my career, I certainly seeked out uh, mentors that could help me along my journey, help me answer questions and find my path. And I've had the privilege uh, since then to uh, recently start mentoring a, a young grad who's working towards his CPA designation. Uh, and it's been really interesting and fascinating to kind of see the journey and look back at myself, you know, 10, 15 years uh, when I was in his place having some of the same questions, some of the same challenges, the same thoughts, and being able to support somebody through that journey uh, has been really empowering and, and inspiring. And, it's really nice uh, that there's that community that's, that's around us. Um, and I, it always feels like there's that support um, and those resources. Uh, if there's anything that you don't know or need information, the CPA is always there to provide you that support, that help and those resources. And I think more broadly, you know, that community is there to protect us and to ensure that we're thriving uh, collectively and it gives us the opportunity to try and, and give some of that back as well. And there's a ton of space to explore and I think that's really interesting uh, too that maybe other professions are a little bit more rigid um, and so I, I think that's the really fascinating, one of the really fascinating things about the CPA is it'll give you the tools, it'll help you get the information that you need, it'll build that community around you and then it'll say, you go be free little bird, figure out your path and what it is that you want to be doing with that information and knowledge you have. I've been in the nonprofit space for about a decade. I didn't start early in my career there, but I pivoted quickly. As I mentioned, it's been really important for me to journey into industries that I'm passionate about and cared about. So I really shifted into the nonprofit space uh, pretty early on. And over the years, I've realized that there's a lot of uh, gaps around operations and um, around resources um, and there's a huge difference between the capabilities and capacity of the corporate world than versus what there is in the in the nonprofit world so purpose forward uh, was founded it's to support grassroots nonprofits and social enterprises across the country to help them develop operational capacity and to help them grow and scale especially at this time in the middle of a pandemic where many many nonprofits have been really struggling to get funding and donations 
um, and different revenue sources. It's been a, a really great opportunity um, to expand into that space and provide support to many of the small and growing grassroots organizations that are doing really meaningful work uh, in our communities that just need the expertise and the know-how to be able to provide them that support. So that's what, what Purpose Forward does. That's one of the things I love most about being in the nonprofit space is everybody is incredibly passionate and motivated uh, and committed to the work that they're doing. It's been important to me for a long time. I think, you know, we all know people that struggle or have struggled with mental health challenges. And I think, you know, these days, especially during the pandemic, we've seen it even more so. So I have a photo over here um, of my family. That's my partner and my, my one and a half year old son, um, who is the center of my universe. I think part of being a CPA um, early on was about ensuring that I had the resources and the means to be able to have a good quality of life outside of my work um, and understanding that too. And I think that has really come to fruition um, being a CPA and gives you a lot of opportunities. And so it's given me a lot of uh, encouragement and uh, energy to be able to raise and, and, and support my son and spend time with my son and now work remotely um, and be able to be home with him uh, more than I probably ever would have before, uh, before the pandemic. Um, the other item I have here is uh, a uniform, and that's the uniform that I got to wear uh, when I had the honor of representing Canada internationally uh, at a soccer tournament. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it was a very proud moment for me. I had been playing for many, many years, um, and so the opportunity to represent uh, the country that I'm so happy to be uh, have, have lived in has been a, a real honor. Growing up especially, I think the leadership skills, the discipline, the um, motivation and sort of personal commitment uh, that you have towards a cause, I think all of those things, the teamwork, um, have really helped um, develop me as an individual and given me opportunities um, as well. I had the opportunity to play varsity in university as a result, so that was a really amazing experience. Um, as well. So it's really opened a lot of doors and given me opportunities to experience more of the world, um, you know, be part of a, a community and a very close-knit group of people and team. Um, so I think, you know, it's, it's definitely informed a lot of what I do. Um, I think it, more than anything, probably gave me teamwork uh, and, you know, self-discipline uh, skills that I probably would have developed in other places, but I think it really gave me a head start, so it was really important in that sense. Thank you.